So that's the heavy part. What's not so hard to do is to say thank you, and that's what we're about to do. St. Louis Park is full of great people, but there are only a few who are truly exceptional and fewer still who are outstanding. In fact, more men have walked on the moon than have received the award that we are about to give out tonight. <laughs> That's true. I went and ran the numbers. 12 people have walked on the moon. We've only given this out four times. The Outstanding Citizen Award was created to recognize people who have made significant contributions to our community or who have dedicated their time for the betterment of our city. <clears throat> and no one has lived those words with more passion, empathy, intelligence, tenacity, and love than Linda Trummer. And I can't look at her because I'm going to get weak. For those of you who don't know her, Linda has led the Meadowbrook Collaborative for nearly its entire 25-year exist existence. The Collaborative is a joint partnership between the city, the school district, and Park Nicollet to provide health, education, and safety support to the families who live in the Meadowbrook Manor Apartments. Through her work, Linda has mentored a number of notable figures at the Collaborative, including one of our state representatives, Peggy Flanagan, who I know was here earlier. I think she might have had to have uh, left. But I talked to Peggy yesterday about this, and she said, Linda is pretty much the reason that I'm at the state legislature now. She is, in just three of the words that were included in the seven-page nomination packet, a rock star. And I've asked Christina Fruge, who was one of the dozens of people who signed that uh, letter of nomination, but who, dra who was the leader of drafting it, to come up and tell us more about Linda. Christina. Thank you. Um, as was mentioned, my name is Christina Fruge. Five years ago, I met Linda. Oh my gosh, I can't look at her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, five years ago, I met Linda through my work building relationships with congregations and other community partners that share a commitment to our kids in St. Louis Park. And so I know that I am in a long line of people that would love to have a chance to come up here and share how much Linda means to them and to this community. So I am very grateful for the opportunity to share what's on my heart about her impact in this community. Before speaking directly about Linda, I need to acknowledge some of the challenging realities um, of the world we live in because I think they shape and frame the significance of how Linda has lived her life and done the work that she did over so many years in this community and continues to do. Everyone in this room is aware of the brokenness in our world, in our communities, in our country. Um, whether you're looking at it from the vantage point of the big picture and the headlines in the news or just reflecting on your own struggles or those of the people you love, we know that brokenness and fear are very real things in our lives. In this corner of the world called St. Louis Park and in the lives of countless kids, families, and other hurting people, Linda, day after day and year after year, has stepped into those messy, broken, and painful places. She has walked alongside of people struggling to survive the harshness of this world. And she has used her mighty voice to speak to injustices and systems that marginalize and harm people. For many facing scary and daunting circumstances, Linda has been a brave and tireless advocate, cheerleader, and friend. In the face of much fear and uncertainty, Linda has sought to live and work for love. From her early days with the Community, um, Community Education Advisory Council, working to advocate for access to early childhood education, to her years and years of service in creating and leading at the Meadowbrook Collaborative, and even to today, as she, in my words, is continuing to minister to people in the often devastating world of cancer, which she herself is in. Um, she has continued to do this work for love and stay committed to that. She has tirelessly and sometimes fiercely worked to make sure that people matter, to make sure their voices matter, that their lives matter, that their futures matter, to make sure that their homes and their hopes and their struggles 
matter. This is what I see in you, Linda, a life and a ministry of mattering. I promise I won't get super churchy, <laughs> but as a person of faith and as a leader in the church, I have to proclaim and name what I see in you, and it is a life and a ministry of mattering. And it is holy, and it is sacred, and it is special, and it is needed. <laughs> in a broken world, often persuaded by fear, we must celebrate and lift up and aim to follow the example of those like you, Linda. Those people like you who wade into the world and into the lives of people determined to do better, committed to making sure people matter, <laughs> and combating fear with love. Linda, your years of serving and leading are an inspiration to me, as I know they are to many others, and they are truly an encouragement to me as I seek to do likewise in my own path in this world. You are a favorite colleague and co-conspirator in doing things that matter, and you are a treasured friend, which was an unexpected but very welcomed gift in these last five years of being by your side in a whole bunch of interesting and challenging ways. And with that, I simply want to say congratulations on receiving this honor. You truly deserve it, and I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, your outstanding citizen, Linda Trummer. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Um, everything I heard today was about collaboration and caring and loving and supporting the whole community, not just pieces of it, but every part of it. And how great that we're in a place called Matter, because what we do does matter. And a lot of the people who I learned from are in this room, some of them even in uniform. Um, so I have a lot of teachers here. I've learned. Uh, as I'm looking around, I've, I've learned from just about everybody in this room, actually. And it's made me a stronger person, um, which was good, because now I really need those survival <laughs> skills. <laughs> but uh, this is such a true honor for me, and you all caught me by surprise. Um, and I just can't really find the words to say thank you, other than thank you. Here's your award. So you get a piece of crystal and also the Park Nicollet Foundation. The flowers are from the Park Nick Foundation. Oh. So. oh, that's very nice. These are for oh you as well. Now, no, I'll, I'll, okay. yeah, we'll, <laughs> I'll leave these up here. I don't really have a whole lot more to say other than as I was sort of standing here listening to Christina talk about um, Linda, it's sort of funny that we think about Meadowbrook Manor and we think about the people who live at Meadowbrook Manor and how we might be able to help them. But the part that I've always found interesting is the connective tissue in that neighborhood. And I've, I've said this to the new ownership. I have said that to 
I had a chance to say that to former HUD Secretary Julian Castro when we had him there. The connective tissue in that neighborhood is the collaborative, and it was for, has been for 25 years, it has been Linda Trummer. And we are so, so thankful for it. I also, I also want to say, as many of you know, as Linda has uh, dealt with her cancer, that uh, Debbie Wells has stepped in very ably and very admirably uh, in taking on those duties and has continued your legacy. Um, and so I just want to make sure that I say thank you to her. So, you want people to know about your first having thing? You don't, I can. Uh, so we would just like to extend an invitation to anyone who isn't ready to wrap up the party yet to join us at Park Tavern around 7 o'clock. We have the atrium reserved in the back of the restaurant. So people are welcome. Uh, we've got the spot. You can come and, and spend more time sharing stories and telling Linda how wonderful she is. <laughs> All right. That's it, everybody. Thank you so much for coming.